Well, this is the setup. Let me, uh, set up. I'm going into teaching mode, so if you have questions, now's the time, and uh, after the run, I guess, but you can always throw them in and someone will help out, or I can try not to. Will I make a sub-50 vid? No, because there's, there's no audience for a sub-50 vid. We're talking about, like, 50 people in the world who might be interested in doing a sub-50. Um, so there's not enough people to want to make one for. <laughs> what the fuck is a tick? Yeah. Dart check? Dragon, probably. Okay. First time Inferno, we're going to stay on North Pillar and keep things really simple. I'm going to drop a couple of these to make space, and we start the early ways with range and basically go for the middle nibbler. One barrage and we go into our actual range gear, and if there's only like one thing attacking you, you can clean up on nibblers. So we're going to try not to be very afraid. You can keep the shield to the side for now, somewhere in the North Pillar, and barrage the middle one. After a good barrage, go for the bats, switch your gear. And uh, you'll start to learn XP drops, like 152 means things are dead. So these early waves are just really simple, all you do is prey range. The double nibblers, you don't need prey, just send a barrage. If you see there's like lots alive, maybe send two. And then at this point you can clean up with blowpipe or like maybe send one more. But you really want to avoid like barraging a lot, so... The more blowpipe action you get, the better. One barrage, and now that we have a blob to deal with, we're going to draw it in, we're going to just run behind North Pillar. From a position like this, you can always bow for the nibbler, but you can't do it from a tower like this because you're going to get dragged out. You've got to take a step back. Now for dealing with blobs, it's really simple. There's only like one or two little things you need to remember for this. And that is, if I'm standing close to it, after you switch your prayers for the initial attack, if this hits me and I'm close, wait a second to then switch your prayers. And suddenly it's fine. Wait a second, switch your prayers. It's not a precise thing, and it works fine. So wait a second, switch your prayers. If you're really far back, like this, when it hits you, I can switch my prayers immediately. And this works fine. And that's how you deal with blobs. That's it. You don't have to do tick timings, you don't have to do anything like that. You just wait for it to hit you, and then you wait a bit and hit. When we're killing blobs, there's different setups. From this side of the pillar, you're going to want to kill them from this tile here, or anywhere further back. You do not want to be here. You have to be here when you kill it from this side of the pillar. And if you stand still, you get this little formation. This little formation only attacks you with range, so it's the easiest way to set it up. And we can do some other stuff down the road. So, we're going to be roughly on North Pillar, anywhere around here. And we're going to use that method to deal with all the blobs in the Inferno. For starts like this, we just stay still and have a look and have a think about what's happening. If you rush decisions, you're going to make mistakes. We're going to let the bat pull in while we kill the blob. And for this blob, when it dies, we have to stand next to it over here. So we stand next to it, switch to our gear, one barrage, and then back into our tank gear. And now we clean up using our blowpipe. You look like you would make There's a bat mean safe spot here, those arms. and this just means you that doesn't hit you. Simple as. King, thank you for the prime. So, back into our gear, and let's keep using these mechanics. One barrage, and just chill. Don't do anything, just wait. If the blob is stuck, we can attack the bats. Let's kill it. It's really easy to kill. Don't be afraid. And let's kill this guy too, because he's just on his own. Don't be afraid. Now let's deal with the same blob in the exact same way. So we're going to see a lot of really simple patterns. And all we're going to do is we're going to learn one or two patterns and use them to complete the entire cave. So this blob is in this position, so we kill it from the same place and we go into it, same as before. And the blob lines up in exactly the same way. One barrage, switch to your tank gear. Now we're fighting the melee, so we pray melee if you can remember it. If not, no worries. Start at the pillar, range pray. One barrage. And let's flick the blob, and let's run behind the pillar, because everything is south. Let's give it time to pull in. And let's just see what happens. If you want to be really safe, you'd stand here while everything pulls in. Because if you're here or here, you can't get seen. Two blobs. Same procedure for two blobs. I'm just going to flick both of them at the same time. They hit me, I wait a second, I switch my prayers. Now I'm flicking the large NPC at the back, so I'm flicking this blob while dealing with these small guys. Let's clean this guy up. Flicking the back blob, and then let's go behind the pillar to drag him in. And the idea of dragging him in is getting him to the set position, as we've done before. We kill him from this tile here, and we pray range. Now before I kill him, I'm going to take a bit of damage to, to showcase a mechanic or two. 
Uh, I'll just pray range and let it kill me. This is the only. This is the one important thing you have to learn as a first caper. You learn this, and you learn how to want to alternate, and you're fine. Okay, I'm 59 HP. Let's kill this guy. Now let's stand really far back and switch to our gear. Take off maybe like the legs, and we just cast blood barrage twice on any of these two guys up here, in immediately and in quick succession. And we can do it a third time to the melee up here. And we can do it to the major as many times as we like. So we're, caught, we're doing a thing called pentaming here. Major's not very good to cast on, but with other blobs you'll see how effective it is. So we're going to 93 HP from about 60 HP in one go. Let's use restores, we've got plenty of them. And we're going to try and catch the middle one. Now it's just a double nibbler wave, so we can be aggressive and move up. And we can finish everything with blowpipe, it's just better. Even if there's a lot of them like this, it's better to just finish with blowpipe. Don't be afraid, come and stand up close. No worries. Okay. We're on to Amelia, and it's just Amelia, so pray melee and come and stand up front. Get one barrage off, and we can clean up here. And then let's uh, let's not shy away from the melee, let's get some practice flicking it. Just a little bit of practice, doesn't hurt. Being confident with handling NPCs, especially melees, is really good. One barrage, and just stand still. The melee is trapped, great. Let's go for these guys and try and clean them up. If the bat comes near me, I kill it. It's only a bat. I'm going to use my time to practice some blowpipe walking, which I'm going to be using at Zuck later. Now for the melee, I'm going to be even braver and come and take a melee hit to keep him in position. The more melee hits you take, the better, as long as you're in control. Keeps him in position, prevents him from digging, so it doesn't waste your time and doesn't get out of position. One barrage. And just chill. Switch your gear. Go for the nibbler. He's on his own. Now we can go for the melee, let the bats drag him. Try and do a little bit of flicking, although in this setup you really don't have to flick. Like, almost not at all. Bat safe spot. So we've learned maybe three or four little things already and we're just using them in succession. As we get to some of the other NPCs there's a few more things to learn, but there really isn't a whole lot to it. Right, now we have a melee and a blob. Let's start roughly on North Pillar and send up a barrage. Let's flick the blob because the melee is not near us. Now let's hide from the blob and deal with the melee. You can flick Rigor here if in doubt. If you want to speed things up or you want to play safer, just flick Rigor. And now we have a blob in exactly the same position as before, so we know how to deal with this. Stand here. Kill it. Prey range. Maybe a blood barrage for some more HP. Take a bit of augury. And into our tank gear to try and clean up. Proper, proper gear. One barrage. And let's flick the blob. The melee is stuck, so let's go towards the blob and kill it. Maybe kill the bat since it's here as well. And all I'm doing is flicking the blob. Now I can stand in on the blob, and whenever you do this you want to stand on these sides here. Let's stand on the blob, send the barrage, and switch to our tank gear. And now the melee's coming, just pray melee. So no need to be afraid of like singular blobs or singular melees, they're just like, you know, they don't really do anything to you. You kill them before they kill you, easily. Let's go back on North Pillar. One barrage. And let's just stand still. Looks like we can go behind the pillar and deal with these bats on their own. These guys are just isolated, that's good. We took a hit from the blob, but it's not a problem. We're going to have a, a nice way to heal up, as shown before. Okay, now let's deal with the blob by flicking it while killing the melee. And if the melee digs, what we're going to go is what we're going to do is go from here to here. This will safe spot it. And all I'm doing is flicking the blob. The melee digs, so I'm going to instantly click here. And this melee can't get to me. It's dead, but it can't get to me. Now let's go back. Use some more restore. Never going to let it go below 50. Now we're going to stand back on 71 HP, take off our tank legs, get ready, and cast twice. And now I'm going to go back into my tank here, and just clean up. If I have to heal off this guy, that's fine, but at this point it's like, no big deal. I can even if I want to, send out a blood barrage right now and it will be fine as well. One blood barrage, let's flick that blob here. Now let's drag everything in from that side by going over here, and I'm just going to just kill this guy. 
Same procedure as before. We come and stand next to him. One barrage in the middle one. It's not a very high one, so let's do one more. Still not high, but let's switch. We're not going to waste our time doing loads of barrages. Now let's go back this side. We're going to stay very consistent with how we deal with this blob. We're not going to change our method or anything. And now we can just pray melee for the melee. We're still not going to move. Maybe send a barrage or two on these guys. That's completely fine. And we're going to clean up with blowpipe. Rigor on if you're unsure. And the damage we've taken is practically nothing. For our other pillars, we're not going to worry about them at all. Just let Nibbles go to them. South pillar is actually harmful. We want south pillar to go down, and west pillar is not useful either. North is very easy to protect. One barrage, and it's a double melee wave, so let's pray melee and be aggressive. No need to be a big pussy and hide behind pillar. All you do is pray melee, and they can't hurt you. And now we have control of both the melees, which is really nice. And we'll click some rigor to get through it a bit faster. Great. Next wave is double nibbler because it's just had two big NPCs, so we don't have to pray anything. One barrage, and as it turns out, that's dead. Pipe specs good for healing. They are good for healing, but they're more so used as an emergency tool. So I'm going to make sure not to use any of them until I'm in a really dire position. Finish these up with blowpipe. And it's only a ranger. Let's not be afraid. Let's go kill the ranger. But you should be saving them for positions where you think you're in a lot of danger and you have to heal. So for example, on the last couple of runs I've done, I've used about two pipe specs in the waves total. On waves that I thought were like a bit tricky and I want to DPS them. But you really don't have a lot of situations where you use them. Let's use one barrage, and they're both together, so let's use another one to try and kill them. And now because it's only a bat on us, we can clean up the nibblers first before we deal with the bat. Again, North Pillar is very easy to protect. And all this stuff is just prey range in the early waves and click. Recommend SGS? No, SGS is incredibly bad. Use the setup that I'm using and nothing else. If you do exclamation mark FCF, you can see the setups. So, we're still only dealing with rangers right now and, right, and bats. So after one spec, let's go behind the pillar again and let everything drag in. I'm going to go to the bat safe spot ahead of time, just because I can. And you can even use the ranger as a pillar and hit the bat behind it. You was an iron, you had to use SGS? No. I'm sure you had it and it was convenient for you, but you didn't have to use it. You could have just flicked more. Or you could have got the gear that was better for you, but having to use SGS? No. Definitely not. Right, one barrage, and then let's stand still and assess. The ranger's up there, the blob's not on us. Let's go kill the blob first, and let the ranger drag in. Let's go stand next to it when it dies, of course. Switch our gear. One barrage in the middle one. And switch into proper gear. Nothing's changing about what we're doing. One barrage and assess. Don't move, just chill. The blob is not on us. Same again. Let's go kill it. Let everything drag in. As it turns out, a lot of Inferno spawns are actually really simple, and it's players that make the wave difficult by moving badly. One barrage on these guys, and then back into our proper gear. And let's not be hasty and attack there. Let's go over here and go to the bat safe spot. Do everything properly. How much GP in supplies? 10 million GP. Or you can sell the Ancestral top and use uh, Aram's top and then you have infinite GP. Let's do one barrage and then let's go behind the North Pillar because everything is south. And I'm going to come down to the Nibbler safe spot here. 
And I still have to deal with the block because it can see me, so I'm going to flick the block. But this safe spot here allows you to hit the nibblers up here, as long as you're there. Now that we're behind the pillar, we have a time to assess what's going on, and we have a ranger and a blob. So let's do a one-tick alternation. Let's click the blob, and just pick an alternating based on the ranger. If you have to wait one full cycle, that's fine, but as it stands, this is confined to you. We just do a barrage on them. Killed the bat as well, lovely. And now we just finish with blowpipe. Now, with 86 HP, 87 HP, it's fine. If I was about 80 HP, I'd want to heal up more. If you want to be safe and heal, that's fine. Just throw a barrage or two. But for this, we're just chilling. You can also get rid of the, uh, the Vambraces for Barrow's Gloves, and it's, like, fine. One barrage. And now let's get away from the blobs. Let's just get away from them. I don't have to try and pre-flick them, nothing. I just get away from them. The end. If I stand here, this guy might drag alongside. So if I take a step in, he's going to move in instead. Oh, well, not in this case. Now I've got to flick him as well. In this case, ignore the blob. Too late, just ignore him. I take some damage. No biggie. I can heal it back. I'm not going to go after those nibblers either. I'm going to be patient. Kill this guy. Barrage it. Clean it up properly. Pray for the ranger. Now I can pray against the blob while going for the nibblers because it's the last NPC alive. I don't really have to worry about anything else. If I rush it, I'm going to be in more danger. He stand still. One barrage. Clean up with uh, crystal. Great. Same again, one barrage. This time it's a melee. Let's stand completely still. The ranger's trapped. Let's go after the nibbler. And as long as I stand here, or anywhere on these six tiles here, all spawns in the room for melees are going to be stuck except for the ones over here. So I can just chill and click it. No need to be hasty or do any weird movements, I just chill. And the next few waves are going to be very similar. There's no blobs or anything, so we're just going to barrage the wave and kill the melee. We stand still. Let's not do anything too hasty. I'm clicking the ground after in case I get pulled south because of the nibbler autocast, and the melee's stuck, so I just kill it. I'm not doing anything fancy at all. I'm literally barraging and standing still, and the wave is solved. After the melee dies, I'll kill the bat. Making sure it's dead. Now I go for the bat, and I'm going to... Blow by walk over to the ranger to save some time. Making sure you're consistent at doing this is really nice for healers when I get there. So you can practice on rangers, you can practice on a lot of NPCs, but as long as you're consistent with your clicks, it's nice and easy and good to learn. Okay. One barrage. This time the melee is going to get to me, so let's get away from the melee. Let's just get away from the melee and run away over here. Now I have only got the bats to deal with. So all we're really doing at the start of waves is looking at what's available and what's able to get to us, and we're moving to a side of the pillar that is safe. And that's kind of it. As it turns out, if I go around this side of the pillar, the melee is going to come towards me. If I come on this side, the melee is not going to come towards me, it gets stuck. So this side is very safe, south side is very good for dealing with melees, north side is not so good for dealing with melees. Now that it's dug, let's run around. And it'll get stuck up here as well. So again, this side is good for dealing with melees, this side is not, this side is good, this side is not. So these two sides are good for dealing with melees. These two sides are very bad for dealing with melees. Uh, I already have a run of this on YouTube, so depending on how this one goes, I might upload it as well. Really depends. There's already one there if you're interested. One barrage, and let's go around the pillar, because there's more things south than there is north. I can pray melee for just one NPC here instead of dealing with two on that side. And now that I'm staying here, there's a nice effect where this blob is going to get stuck on the side of the pillar and it can't, can't come around. So by standing on either of these two tiles, I can corner trap NPCs on these sections here. 
Now I can just deal with the blob on its own after I take a step out. And if I want to, I can even re-corner trap it. So I can deal with a lot of stuff by just using these tiles effectively. Let's take a step up here. And uh, if I do this, I'm going to get pulled out. You've got to be a bit careful. It works both ways. I've got to come around the corner and so does the blob. But if I take a step back, I can go and attack. Now it's just a ranger, so we just click it. I'm going to start picking up restores. I can take one here. And we're just not worried in the slightest about our prayer. The green fade is a party plugin. I'm just using it to illustrate stuff. Yeah. Just use M if this starts and switch to dragon when you can do. Yeah. One barrage and let's just stand still and assess what's going on here. Maybe kill this guy. I'm gonna go kill the ranger. And I'm gonna start alternating whenever I feel comfortable. There's no rush to do this. And while the melee is going to dig at some point, I don't have to worry about it right now. I just want to get rid of one NPC. But the ranger is going to die before anything else happens. Now I keep I keep alternating until the blob attacks, and now I can stop. When this hits me, I flick my prayer. Same as always. I'm going to wait for it to hit me, and then I'm going to come around and kill the bat. The bat will die, and as it turns out, the melee is now stuck. Great. So that was a really simple DPS solution where I have two NPCs on me, I'm not panicking and moving around to like fight the melee. All I did was go and kill the ranger. Nothing more to it. Alternate when comfortable. I didn't even do it for like three attacks. Now I'm low HP, 59, so what I'm going to do here is heal off the blob. I'm not going to bother even barraging it right now because it's too slow and wastes prayer. I'm just going to sit here and kill it. And now that it's dead, I'm going to come back, pray range, put my gear on, and barrage twice. I can barrage again because it's not dead yet. And now it should be dead. So we got to 87 HP from 59, which is plenty fine right now. And we can do the same again. One barrage, and let's just stand still. What I'm going to do is let the melee round. So I'm going to take a step back, and then up. I'm going to put on Rigor and Blowpipe spec. And I'm just going to kill it. I'm not going to flick the blob. Nothing like that. I can even kill this Nibbler. And now that everything's dead, I come around the pillar. So I'm utilizing, again, a solution that's just a pure DPS solution. And now the ranger's on me, so i got to kill these two bats. Now I've got to flick the blob while doing this. So we flick the blob. Great. Wait for it to attack. After it attacks again, we can move around. So there's nothing complex about this. Just choosing to eliminate one NPC instead of dealing with more. And at this wave, before the major exists, that's completely fine. Now I'm a bit low, so let's heal up. I don't mind not healing to full. 75 is fine from the ranger, because I'm going to heal off the blob as well. Let's come around the pillar and kill it from this side. And again, anywhere here is fine. You just can't be here. Stand all the way back. One barrage, two barrage, 151 usually means the mage is alive. So we pray mage to make sure we don't get hit at the end, and we're 99. So all our HP problems are solved, nice and simple. One barrage, and let's duck behind the pillar because everything is north. And on your average wave, everything will be north. So this is not a surprise. I'm going to stand still in this corner, and the range is going to get stuck. So I'm simply doing less work, and it's like just easier for me. Now I can deal with the ranger. There's three nibbles on my west pillar, and I don't care in the slightest. It just does not matter. If you want to speed it up, flick some brigger. Push to our gear. And we come up praying range, so we can just flick the mage. And send another barrage. And flick the blobs together. Nice and simple. Now we've killed the front one, we've got to flick the back one. One more barrage, because it wasn't very good. And now we're not going to be hasty, we're going to come back and let this guy pull into the pillar. And deal with him here. Ranger, of course. 
Ice Barrage is a little bit better, so if you're full HP, Ice Barrage is good. And now just a melee left, so we pray melee. Okay. Next wave. Let's use more restorters. One barrage, and I'm gonna stand still. The ranger's trapped, so I can pray melee for the oncoming melees. And go after the niddler. If I'm out here, I'm gonna get hit. But we're praying, so it doesn't matter. And I can do a thing again, where I come and stand over here, and take control of both the melees. I'm not gonna dig anymore, so it takes a load off. So just getting some control, being comfortable with NPCs. I don't have to flick here or anything. Maybe when there's one of them you can practice. Now onto the ranger. I'm hoping at this point none of this is like particularly complex. It should just be a couple of uh, simple blob, blob uh, well, simple ways to deal with blobs. And then ducking behind the pillar effectively, that's about it. When we get to major, it's going to be a little bit more interesting, but even that's not uh, too crazy. Now it's just two rangers, which means we can come up and chill. One barrage, switch to our proper gear. And again, with two range NPCs and only two range NPCs, let's go and move up and attack them. If you want to speed things up, you can one-tick flick your prayers with Rigor. Or just flick it normally. But being able to conserve a little bit like this is really good. You can afford to be aggressive when nothing's happening, when it's super chill. Easiest way to learn? Practice. Give it a go. Try it out. Right, one barrage. Switch to our proper gear and clean up with pipe. A blowpipe itself is a two tick metronome, so you can just use a blowpipe. And it syncs to the game as well. Now we pray mage and do one barrage. I'm going to wait for it to get to the pillar because I missed my barrage and I'll just send one now. Sending another one to try and clean up. Now we start using both of the majors. Clean up pipes, uh, clean up nibblers with blowpipe. And we're just AFK. Avers versus range cape trend. It's about the same. It doesn't really matter. Should you camp CG for two more crystals or would the Missouri body be enough? I don't know the calc, so you'd have to calc it. But sure, I mean, you, you could do Inferno with Missouri body just fine, even if you're using crystal. I don't think it's a big deal. But uh, Assembler really isn't that much better than a range cape. It might give you one mechs it also. So it's like, it's like the best thing to use, but it's not going to break you if you don't have one. Assembler versus Max Cape? Assembler if you're using Ring of the Gods, and if you're not using Ring of the Gods, then Max Cape. Because Max Cape has the effect. So versus Majors, we want to flick a little bit because they take so long. But we don't have to flick like extremely well or anything, just have a little bit here and there. Let's go back on the start of the pillar. One barrage, and let's hide from the major. Let's hide from the major. Now I can kill this guy. And now that he's dead, I can go on the major. We're just running behind North Pillar for like so many souls, but it just works fine. Uh, exclamation mark FCF has the pick, yeah. How many darts? Probably no more than 500. <laughs> it's really hard to imitate first game flicking. This is about as close as you get. Your prayer is on for like two or three takes. Okay. One barrage, and let's run behind North Pillar. Same as always. Now I can stand on the bat safe spot and kill the bats if I want to, or I can let them drag in even more. So if it all drags in, now I can hit the major without having to bother with the bat. As it turns out, I want to get this nibbler, so I'm just going to go around and try and bow for it to death, because I don't want it to get to the pillar and it's only a bat on me. I just, I just don't care about the bat. Again, I'm just praying mage, kill the bat that respawned. Anything that respawns dies very quickly. They so got drained a little bit there, which is not so nice, but it's not really a make or break. You'll get the levels back if you restore, so I may as well, I need some prayer. Thank <laughs> you. 
We can clean this guy up with Bofa or Blowpipe. Blowpipe's a bit better, but Bofa's like fine for killing most things in the Inferno. Great, let's take another restore. Fiction to I get. One barrage. And let's flick the blob because the Major is stuck. I can even go for this Nibbler because all I'm doing is flicking a blob and that's nice and easy. Let's wait for it to hit me, switch my prayer, then go around the pillar. So as long as you wait for the blob to actually get its attack off, you can go immediately after. Got the first game yesterday, thanks to the guy. Congrats, my friend, congrats. I'm glad it helped. Yeah, mages are fairly boring. With the amount of prayer we have, we can probably just AFK and that's fine, so... Not really too much to this right now. The further you get inside the Inferno, or the more attempts you do, the more you'll be like aware of how much prayer you need and how you need to manage it. But on a run like this, I'm going to end with excess prayer, even camping prayer, so... At this HP, I can finish with a blowpipe. Let's go around to meet the blob. Is this harder than a Bofa TOA 500? No, I don't think so. Inferno is very easy. People think it's hard, but it's not. Mage spray, one barrage. And let's duck behind the pillar because there's nothing back here. Pray range for the bat and kill the bat. We're letting it drag to us fully and not rushing it, otherwise it's gonna go mess us up. Now we wanna go hit the major, so let's take a range check from the blob and then switch to mage so that both attacks us with mage. Alternatively, just run there, it doesn't really matter. And we have our first west blob of the run. On west blobs, we pop them from the south side instead of the north side and you can clump them, the same as you can if they were south. Now with the respawn bat, I can just click it with a bofa and get rid of it. Quite nice. Let's flick a little bit. Okay, so we kill this blob from the south side over here, and it's the same as if it was over here and here. Do we stay here or anywhere further back? And as long as we stand still and pray range, you get a nice little range clump. One barrage from anywhere, and then switch into our proper gear. And now we've got to deal with the major, so let's pray mage. Great. That's the procedure for that side blob. One barrage, and let's just stand still and have a think. There's only bats on us, everything's safe spotted, so let's kill the bats. I'll use Bofa to try and get this one a bit further away. Now it's coming closer, so I just use Blowpipe. Now I'm not going to kill the blob, because we want to not let it respawn. So let's go for the major. And if a bat comes on me, if he comes and respawns here, I can just stand over here, very range and deal with it. No point taking needle, so we just, here, here it is, come stand over here, hit bat. No point taking needless damage if you can avoid it simply. So, use the pillar. If an NPC is like stuck in a safe spot and just dodge around then it's fine. Okay, for this blob, same procedure. You can't really safe spot it anywhere, so it's this side. And stand in. Start with the mage spray. One barrage, and because we need to kill the major anyway, what I'm going to do is both of this remaining nibbler and start alternating and then click the major. Let's click the major and begin alternating whenever I fancy. Here we go.
We keep alternating, the blob attacks, now we can stop. And now we can all just treat it normally. How are you supposed to do other actions? You're not. That's the whole point. The way we set it up is so that we can simply just not do other actions. I mean, uh, for example, what other action did I have to do there? Nothing. You could say an argument to like, you're noodling, so you gotta use prayer. But in this setup, it would be like, almost impossible to run out of prayer. Because as before, we're, we're making sure to use restore at around about 50 prayer. Which means for any given wave, I have enough to do that. But as it turns out, you can fit other actions in. Let's do one barrage and click the ground. The melee is stuck, and I can bofer the nature from here. This is a nice position to both for the Nibbler, so let's do that. And if I want to, I can drag this Major closer. The way to do that is I can't attack him from behind the pillar, I get dragged out. But if I come and stand on this tile, you see he moves one tile, and if I stay there for two ticks, he moves another tile. And now I can attack him from here, but I can't attack him from the edge here, so they got pulled back in. But it gives you access to these two tiles if you stand here for those Majors. With the melee digging, let's just move to this side and it will be safe spotted. But you can do other actions. Gotta be fast, that's all. There you go, just like that. Not easy to, and I don't recommend first capers do it, but you shouldn't be in any positions that require you to do that. I can take this restore and just leave it here, I think. Mage break, one barrage, and I just sit still and have a think. The mage is on me and the melee is going to get to me. Let's hide from the major and deal with the melee. Simple. Now, in this position, there's actually a cool thing I can do. I don't really want to kill it, otherwise it might respawn. So what I can do if I'm on the corner and he's like this, I can wait for him and I can run here. Very major course, and he actually slides in. So this saves me a bit of a headache dealing with the melee. Now I can do one extra thing, and that is take a step this way. So whenever you have an NPC that has its line like this across the pillar, you can set up a melee safe spot. And this is going to be a recurring, a recurring concept, a recurring theme into, into more of these runs. More of these waves. From here, I take a step diagonally northeast. Um, in this case, the major's dead, so it doesn't matter. And the melee's gonna dig because I was a bit late for it. Okay, we're fine. So we're gonna use this concept of like safe spotting NPCs a lot more. And the idea is to prep it in case you need it. One barrage, stand still, and have a think. Let's kill this niblet. And now let's collect this major. Melee is stuck after all. This bat's gonna get round, so let's kill the bat. Just praying mage. I'm not gonna flick anything. Maybe blowpipe spec it to get rid of it. Or not hit, okay. And as you can see, bats are kind of a pain in the butt, so... Brigger run for bats is nice as well. When the melee digs, I need to have a plan. My plan is to stand here, or here. As if I'm anywhere on this side, I can just come back here. Melee digs, let's come back. So I'm thinking about it ahead of time. Now let's get rid of it, let's just kill it. Use some restore, because we're getting low. And we don't really want to fight the bats. So let's use our technique to pull the major in a little bit. And now we can attack it from here. We can go to the bat safe spot as well to get ready for the bats, but making it just a bit easier is nice as well. And we're getting a bit low, so let's heal up on the bats. Let's come all the way back so we can try and get some phantom. Take our prayer off and we can just barrage the back one. Take my crystal legs off. They're probably not helping much. Shouldn't be this inaccurate. I'm getting really unlucky, that was a zero. We got a couple of heals, which is fine. I'm actually just not sure what, like, thing of Embraces are. Let me double check this. Magic is plus 53. Plus 53. So if Embraces don't actually do I'm just getting really unlucky. That's fair enough. I'm getting really unlucky. Bro? 
Take the legs off. Okay, I think I was just getting really unlucky to be honest. We can start this wave with a blood barrage if you want some more HP. Let's just stand still and have a think. So we stand still and this looks dangerous, but actually it's not. There's a gap for him to slide in here and he will slide along the major and then into the pillar. So this is yet another wave that is solved by standing completely still. I do want to have a plan for when the melee digs, and my plan in this case is to try and tank hits. So I will time it, wait for the major to attack, come in and stand back and pray mage. And if I do this every 10 or so seconds, the melee will stay in place. Let's do another one. And getting used to handling the melees like this makes my life very easy. Now that it's on its own, I can come and stand in. So my plan there was just take hits from it and tank it. Or uh, pray melee for it. And as long as you have a plan, everything is fine. Down to the blob. And as we can see, after the entire wave collapses and there's not much left, we end up with a really simplistic blob finish. Which is going to be pretty common. And at this point we should be getting pretty good with our skills of trapping it and uh, dealing with it. Let's kill this major and heal up a little bit from the melee. So we get a little barrage to finish, which is fine. Let's do one barrage. Let's hide from everything, let's just go behind the pillar. We're going to go to this tile to drag the major closer, and now we can attack it from behind the pillar. I'm going to take a step back and go for these minis, and uh, you might be able to blood barrage it twice from there, which I can. Now I want a plan to deal with the melee, so I have to think about how to trap it. In this case, I can stand here, or I can stand anywhere up here, and come back to this tile. So I'm going to take a second and we're going to just take some hits from the blob, and that's completely fine. Now the melee's dug, I can come back. And it's safe spotted. So if I want to, I can try and flick the blob and alternate, and, do, and sit here basically alternating, waiting for that to happen. But if you know your timings well, or you can like count to 50 or whatever it may be, you can time that well enough that the melee is not a problem anymore. Now I can come and take hits from the melee in a controlled fashion, and I'm doing it here so the blob doesn't see me. If I step out here, I'm going to get hit. And that's it. Let's take some more hits. So I've looked at the wave, run behind the pillar, dragged the major closer, and prepared a melee safe spot. None of those things on their own are particularly difficult, you've got to think about it while you're actually doing stuff. Now at 78 HP, I can use this to heal up. Couple of barrages, 93 HP is fine. Let's pray mage now for this guy. Try and run away from the bat. And the bat's been rude, so let's try and heal up from the bat. Couple of HPs, all is well. Cool. Pray mage, one barrage. Now what I'm going to do is going to come this side. This is so the melee can't get to me. And I can start putting rigor on here because there's a lot of stuff approaching. And I'm going to use my blowpipe specs in this position. I can probably reach the nibbler from here with a bofa, so I'm going to try. And uh, I'm just going to alternate this. I'm going to come over here when the melee digs. I'm still not alternating yet because I'm still dealing with stuff. If I have to brew, I can brew. Let's blowpipe spec to begin with. Let's go back on the major and now try to alternate. Melee is about to dig though. Okay, it's dug. Let's go over here. Now let's kill the bat, making sure we're out of range with the melee. So that in, in, in that entire process, not once did I flip the blob, and we're completely fine. And the idea here is I've got other stuff to deal with. I've got bats to deal with. I've got the melee to deal with. The blob is kind of irrelevant. If there's two blobs, it's a bit of a different story. But in this case, dealing with the bats safely is better. Let's get control of the melee. Now I have control of the melee. Good. Bit of restore, we're getting low. Now let's get control again. But at no point in that did I involve any weird flicks or anything, I didn't do any weird movement, all I did was sit here and trap the melee. Okay, now we have a blob, and we'd like to heal up from Mr. Blob. So we're keeping stuff super easy and super simple. Come close, come in, one blood barrage, see if it's any good. Maybe augury on to try and heal a bit more, because we're not doing too good on HP. And there's just a major left, and we're not going to heal from him, so let's just uh, use blood pipe. Now I'm 50 HP. Bit scary, but we're going to start the wave with a blood barrage, and then if I have to, I'll brew. 
Let's run away from everything and drag these guys in. Now let's come up here and drag the other guys in while flicking this blob. I'm gonna brew. I'm still flicking the I'm still flicking the blob, I'm just gonna brew a couple of times. Now I'm gonna attack the major. And I just alternate. If the melee digs, I'm gonna find a plan. Okay, my plan is to come over here. And the reason why is because if I do this fast enough, I can generate a safe spot. Let's start alternating again. Rigoron. If it digs again, might be in trouble. I'm gonna run away from it. I have a blow pipe spec there. I'm gonna run away from it. Now here it's actually gonna get to me, so my plan is to kill it. I'm gonna fray melee and use my pipe specs, and I'm not gonna flick the blood. If I have to, I just brew. Now I'm in control of the wave, let's get stable with the blob and start flicking. Now let's kill a blob. So, a pretty scary wave. Um, it's kind of hard to demonstrate that spot very quickly, but essentially if you stand on here, you can come over and stand down here. You can like corner trap the melee. And you can shuffle up and down on that side as well. Now it's only a blob, I can come and uh, deal with the minis. I'm still flicking him, but it's just him, so it's fine. One barrage, and we're fine. Yeah, corner trapping very useful. So all down this side here, you can go there. That's a particularly hard wave for a first cape though. But TLDR, come back here earlier, preset the melee, and then we're fine. One barrage and let's assess. It's a bit far away, so I'm going to bow for it so I don't get dragged out. Looks like this melee is the only thing gatekeeping me, so that's okay. I'll just kill it. And let's use more restore. Let's stay really topped up. Could I show wave numbers to keep track of the NPCs? I don't like keeping wave numbers on stream because people get hung up on the idea of difficult waves. And I'd rather people simply solve the wave they're given instead of having to think about like, oh, it's on this wave, that wave. Okay, the melee's dig, let's just run away from them. Uh, and it looks like I can safe spot them. So let's go over here. And now ahead of time, let's prepare a melee dig spot. So we're gonna stand out here or on that safe spot. And we just come diagonally like this. And we can pull them down the pillar in the same way. So like from here, we come down, and from here, we come down. Same concept. All we're doing is like moving in, like this. They dig, let's go here. It's only one of them that's dug, and the other one's here. But this position is actually really nice, it's not likely it can even move out. So I'm just gonna stay still and basically not move. Um, it's a bit scary, but not in this case. I think actually these guys might even be safe spotted. Yeah, they've happened to lock on each other, which is kind of funny. But in that case, if the major doesn't die, I can come over here and pray melee. And I'm not, I'm not going to attack anything if that was the case, I'll just sit there. Okay, so we're on to major ranger with one very difficult wave. Now we're going to stop using ancestral top and start using our shield. Praying mage on the start and staying to full HP before waves begin. One barrage and we click the ground immediately. There's a nibbler going to south pillar. I'm going to ignore it. Now let's get into our proper gear, and for this kind of stack, you click the back NPC and alternate based on it. So we click the ranger, and if you want to, you can go out and test it. So you can see if I go out and back, it's only the ranger that hits me, which means they're off tick. Now I can try and click the ranger. And now I kill it first. I'm not worried about my south pillar at all. In fact, I want it to die. If you want to clean up faster, just use Rigor. South Pillar is detrimental for first caves. It'll get you killed. Major dies, let's pray range. And the South Pillar's gone. Fantastic. 
The south pillar is bad because mages can drag around it and get line of sight of you over here. You do not want this. Also, if you're here and then the pillars go south, you get dragged out, which you also don't want. So we go into our tank gear, free range. Now that it's gone, I won't be dragged out and things won't see me. Now I just pray range. It's only a ranger. Let's duck around the pillar and kill this bat while praying mage. Maybe flick a little bit of a range hit in there if I can do. There we go. Back on the major. Any thoughts on a better way to break up the run? Speed it up? It depends how much time you have to do runs. Uh, just gonna pray mage, maybe flick a little bit of the bat. When the major respawns something, it does two full attack cycles. So you can keep flicking or you can keep doing whatever you're doing and it's fine. But yeah, I mean, you, you can just log out or you can just sit there, you know? Would I strategically wait for a hard wave to sacrifice south? No. If I'm a first caper, I don't protect south at all. Your only priority as a first caper is to protect north pillar. And as you can see right now, my north pillar is not taking any damage. It's extremely healthy. And the answer is simply because it's very easy to protect. South pillar is like a bit of a noob trap where people try to run towards it, and it doesn't solve their problems. So you're both doing yourself a disservice, and it's bad in terms of how it sets up waves for you, so letting South Pillar and West Pillar fall is good. Obviously you want to have some Pillar HP, but as long as North is healthy, you're fine. So, Mage Prey, one Barrage, and then have a think. I'm just gonna stand still, and do nothing other than kill the bats. A bit of Rigor on, maybe, and I'll blow pipe spec this bat to try and kill it. Now there's nibblers on the pillar, and uh, I'm not too concerned. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this ranger, uh, this major and this ranger around. I can hit the ranger for a bit, but I want to kill the major first. Now it's closer, I can fight it. Alternatively, I can stand here and let it drag towards me. As for the pillar, I can't really save it, so unfortunately it's going to go down. But again, I don't need any other pillar. South pillar is easy, to, uh, north pillar is easy to protect. If you're doing first capes, you might want to try and protect them if you're like getting very close to getting your cape, as long as you think you're safe doing so. But rushing for nibblers is not good. So basically, I've not flicked a whole lot during this 50 minutes, and I've used about 4 restores. So according to this, I should have about 150 minutes of prayer, if not more. Now before we kill this ranger, I want to heal up a little bit. Let's switch into our gear. I'm going to come back close to our start tile and just barrage back up. Every one of these 50 plus waves, we start full HP. We just have North Pillar to protect now, which makes life very easy. We know where the numbers are going, we're not going to get dragged out. Nothing's going to go wrong. There's 99, let's switch back into our DPS gear, and just start killing. Into our tank gear, Mage Brace start, and let's just stand still and have a think. Now I'm going to pray range and start praying range. I'm going to flick these two guys. Wait for the ranger to attack, and then pray mage. Alternatively, I can go over here and flick the Major in the blob. But doing this doesn't really take much setup. Nice and safe. I'm full HP. If I make a mistake, I can run to the north side and brew. In these waves, it's nicer to keep the ranger alive last, and it's better to kill the blobs first, because they don't deal damage back to you. But in this case, I don't mind really having a blob left, it's quite early 50s, so this is okay. Uh, both for a blow pipe again is fine, well, unless I should be piping really. Okay. 93 HP, I'd like 99, so let's go kill the blob. Completely standard end to this wave. Run in. Bomb barrage to 99. Let's kill the ranger. 
and then the major, and then let's take a step back and pray melee. And try and heal from this guy. 96 is fine. Tank gear on. These are the Valve Boots. On barrage. And we just stand still. Thanks to the South Pillar, Pillar being dead, there's nothing to worry about. We can bow for this guy, or we can come back here and kill him from the Nibbler safe spot. And now we can't attack here, so we gotta pull him in. We go to the corner, he comes in, now we can fight. Should I AFK this? So still nothing too hard. Once we get to Major, Ranger, and Melee, that's where the fun begins. Great. So we're going to play against both of these two guys, or I can alternatively kill the bat and just alternate. Let's come out and just pray range and kill the bat to begin with. Try and flick a blob or two, but it doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to kill the ranger and alternate. I'm not worried about the one blob hit I took. I'll heal up anyway. If I was 50 HP, I'd want to maybe barrage the ranger. Let's keep alternating till the blob attacks. Now we go behind the pillar. We don't rush things. Quick blob. And we're going to start moving back already. Let's come back. Take some gear off. Get ready. Two barrages. There's one. There's two. Now we pray mage. And I'll try and barrage it again. Didn't get anything, but we're 88. Tank gear on. Let's have augury on for a bit more defense. And one barrage. Now let's corner trap the ranger. It's a simple movement, and as long as you do it in time, you'll be fine. If you don't do it in time, I could come and stand over here, for example, and flick the blob and the major. This corner trap is very simple and very handy. And remember, I can control things using it. I can let them out. I can come and attack it, and then I can come back. And it's still trapped. Now I have to be aware that I can't attack the major from here. If I do, I have to flick the ranger. So let's get ready to do that. This releases the ranger. Now we have to flick them. Once you get a nice rhythm for flicking, there's really not too much to it. Yo, J Prince, big congrats! Lots of people getting capes over the weeks now. Very cool to see. Doing a little bit of flicking, barely anything. So we have to be confident going for flicks like that, especially when it's controllable. It's not forced upon you. Let's just send the barrage. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That's a bit silly. We can pray mage now. Let this guy come across, don't rush things. And I'm not going to attack the bat, I'm going to let it fall in. I can barrage the last one to get the last 3 HP. It seems silly, but 3 HP might be the threshold that kills you. So in these waves, it pays to be safe. Put the tank gear on. And let's go. One barrage. And let's actually come over here and pray range. Now I'm going to set up an off tick here. Rigor on. So I'm giving it time. I'm not flicking the blobs. I'm just using them for setup. And I'm not going to protect my north pillar. I'm going to kill this guy with rigor. This is the one kind of instance where you have to just let the pillars uh, die. Because they survive for a long time. If you want to, you can go to the middle safe spot. Now it's dead, I can go here and instantly barrage. I can probably send two. Okay, it dies. So my pillar took maybe 15-20% of damage for one big wave. And you're not going to have many of those waves. 
So to allow that and to let it happen is fine. Just use rigor and finish it up. Let's go for the blob. I don't like killing them from this side, and when you do kill them, remember to step into the corners here, or the center. We're flicking the black, the back blob now. I'm going to do one more flick and come around. But the pillar still looks really healthy. It's still considered to be like a full HP pillar, right? And remember, again, if you're really worried about it, you can just pray mage, put your tank gear on, and come down here and barrage it. Or you can come over there and pray range in a left click. So there are plenty of options to deal with it. DPS option, as always, works fine. Let's kill this blob and heal from it. Bomber Barrage, 99 HP. Let's switch back to the proper gear. And it's just the ranger, so we pray range. Tank gear on, mage pray. Bomb Barrage. And I'm going to stand still. I'm clicking the ground because when it gets over here, it's going to be a bit awkward to hit. I get dragged out. Let's go to the Nibbler safe spot. And uh, let's trap this melee by coming up a bit. I can take one more step down, but if I take one more step, he's freed from the pillar. So I can't really be there. And uh, this is an annoying melee. Let's kill it. Let's just kill it. This pillar stack is fine, but the melee is going to get in the way. So I don't want to deal with it. Can I show the flick stack without needing this one to cultivate? I guess... You mean like flinching it? I don't want to show flinching, I don't think first capers should flinch. Using the NPC animations to no timing? Mm, kind of, I mean... So again, you have, you have this solution where you come out and the ranger sees you from the middle out here running. But you can also like... Come out, and then come around. And get into a two tick. Very range when the major moves. Oh, I don't think that works very well. Has to be a level of confidence with dealing with these guys. People are going to take mage shits too often. So we're going to let the melee come to us and just go behind the pillar. Add it in as a click. Reviving Mage doesn't do anything, it stays in the cycle. It takes two full hits. So you can do things like, if, if you're not sure how to do this, test it. Come out. And if you get the timing of the Ranger down, you can get the timing of the Major because it's one tick after. So as long as you test things, it should be pretty straightforward. Let's drag the ranger in and use another dose of restore. We're still 99, so we're chilling. Now with these waves of melees, I'm going to look for a lot more of these corner trap positions. And I might also choose a lot more DPS solutions to get rid of them quicker. Uh, I can also just use Brew, I can use Potion, I can use Blowpipe Specs, I'm reserving everything, and I'm going to have all three on at the start of a wave. Let's stand still. Some people might be tempted to freeze the melee here. I'm actually just going to kill it, praying mage. And if it hits me, it hits me. Took a 38, died before it did anything remotely serious. I had Blowpipe Specs on demand, I had Brews on demand, everything there was completely in control. So it turns out, even on waves like this, you can just kill it, and it's fine. Now, it can hit you 40, 40, 40, and you have to react and brew. But as you can see, it's certainly not a big problem. Now it's been respawned, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm not going to panic run, I'm not going to run away, I'm just going to kill it, and it will die. Now I can go and attack the ranger, and when the melee digs, I'm here, so I can safe spot it by moving back one. Let's move back. If you stay on this tile too long, it's going to wiggle, so you have to be aware. Now I want to heal, so let's heal on the ranger. And the bat. Take the legs off for this. 
but having a ranger alive at the last second is really nice. Good HP. There's 95. One more. Slightly better one, please. There's 99. Put my proper gear on. Go click the bat. I'm going to come back to my uh, safe spot and my starting tile. Thank you, Ron. There's a barrage, let me just stand still. I can move into the pillar to make sure nothing comes round, and let's just kill this bat. This ranger is looking like it's going to come round the pillar, and so is the melee. So let's just stand still and pray range. Corner, corner trap the melee, and now let's kill it. I want to get rid of it, because the major is going to be a bit of a nuisance if I try and go for it. I just have to get rid of it. So I'm not worried about the pillar, but I do want to speed things up. Let's put rigor on. Now I can come back and deal with these guys. Let's go to the another safe spot and clean up. Okay, they're dead. My pillar took a little bit more damage, but still nothing serious. Now let's kill the bat and pray mage for the major. So we're just taking things one step at a time. Looking at the wave, just let it literally come towards us and deal with it. As long as you can see things are going to get to you, pray for the thing, corner trap something else. I could have stood here and corner trapped the ranger and dealt with the melee. Doesn't really change anything. Little bit of flicking. I've been trying not to flick too much because I don't need to. But a little bit is nice. Gets you in tune with the ticks. Make sure you save a little bit of prayer. Want to be comfy after all. That looks like it's stuck. No need to do anything. And a poke for the bat from afar and come around to the ranger. Then just blow pipe it. And now we're not full HP, so let's get full HP. There's 97. I'm getting 99. Should always start these waves on 99, there's no reason not to. Thank you. These are where the difficult waves begin. One barrage, and let's just get out of the way of that thing. I don't want to be dealing with the ranger. I can kill this, and then I can click the major with rigor on and begin alternating as I choose. Majorly stuck. So I've given it some time again, making sure I'm on the right tick. If the melee digs, where do I go? Well, as it turns out, I think I'm probably going to have to run and leg it to the ranger side. I'm going to do one more hit. Now I pray mage. And I'm going to pray mage coming around here, and I'm just going to leg it to the ranger side. And pray range. Got to get out of the way of the line of sight of that blob as well. But it seems a bit crude. I'm going to use my pipe spec here, just one of them. Another one since I didn't hit. And now the blob's on me. Let's alternate with the blob. I keep alternating until the blob attacks. There it is. And now I just take a second to think. Well, I can let the melee dig again, I can come back over here, so let's let the melee dig. In the meantime, I can throw like a barrage maybe, in case I manage to land it. Now it's dug, let's come back around here, and fast. Okay. So now we're on the safe side of the pillar, dealing with the major, something's respawned, not a problem, I can finish it off. That's a case of not great DPS. With Tebow, you could probably get away with that. But in this case, I just formulated a plan for when the melee digs. The alternative was to go into range of it and take a hit, which I'd rather not do, but it works fine. But the idea was I had an idea of what I could do. In this case, it was run towards the ranger, get behind this side of the pillar and isolate everything here, because the melee was over here, the major was over here, I want to be away from them. Now I'm getting low. Just use two doses brew. Still got plenty. Those here. Let's go. And now we can alternate a little bit for these guys, and then pray range at the end. Heal up, or try to heal up. 
Hopefully all dead. Major alive, that's fine, we'll kill him. If he hits me, I'll heal off the ranger. He does not. Let's come back a little bit. I want to go over here to the start. One barrage, and let's have a think. Let's corner trap the major. It's not corner trapped, so I gotta be aware that it's. Oh no, it is corner trapped. I lied. The bat's safeguarding it as well. So I'm just praying melee for the. melee, obviously. And now we have a decision here. I can take a step out and unsafe spot it. You look like you would make a mean or I can just kill the melee. Arm. And I'm gonna choose the real easy solution of killing the melee. Stinky toes, thank you for the prime. One day it will die. Great. Now we release, release the major. And actually, what, what would have been in my best interest was probably to keep him here and take a step back so he can see me. Um, by doing this, I can't re-safe spot it, so if the melee got re-revived, uh, then I couldn't re-safe spot the major, so... I'll kill Zuck with only five? Yeah, if only, if only there's a way. Hopefully I'll find a way. Okay. Bit of alternation. Finish with range prey. One barrage, back into our proper gear. The mage is alive, let's kill it. Let's kill this bat, and then let's heal off the ranger. I'm gonna bring him behind the pillar a bit as well. And we are gonna get 99 here. Eventually. Why we take crystal legs off for doing this? You guys need to stop getting baited by Hog. <laughs> Alright, let's put uh, Augury on for some defense. One barrage, and let's corner trap the ranger. So we're using this spot a few times now, and I'm not going to flick the blob. I'm just going to have a think. I want to get rid of these guys. Let's come around to this side of the area. I can pray range because he's respawning, and then come around. And I want to pipe stick these guys just to get rid of them. I'm going to send one barrage on the others to try and get rid of them. And I'm going to brew. I'm going to take a hit from the melee as well. He's respawning right now. This is a good time to take a hit from the melee. And I'm just going to keep brewing. Now I'm going to start alternating. I'm going to go around to the ranger side if he digs. Alternatively, I can take a hit here and not flick the blob. And now I can begin alternating again. So I've got a few solutions and I've got a backup solution. Blob just attacked there so I can stop. Blob attacks, I can take a hit from the melee. Great. So I came up with a solution to deal with the melee, I came up with a backup solution, and then I enacted the first plan and hoped that it was on the right timing, which it was. This is complex, and it's not easy for first caper stuff, but it's doable if you have a little think about what you're actually doing. You have the time, you have the resources, the brews, the blowpipe spec available, and it's just one step at a time. Now we're killing the blob in the open, so I take a step towards it. Okay, let's deal with the ranger and we are 99 HP. It's fair to say, this is wave 62, it's fair to say that you could also use some bastions if you want to. So I'm going to start using a couple of doses, maybe two or three for these waves, just to speed it up. You could start potting at around about 58 if you want to, <clears throat> but it's not like too necessary. Let's use a dose of bastion and have all real. Let's corner trap the ranger. Okay, there's a blob on me. 
And what I want to do is I want to come around to this side and flick these group of NPCs. Let's flick the blob. Now catch the ranger. Now come around praying mage. I'm going to put rigor on and I'm going to hit these two nibs. And then I'm going to deal with this and set up a corner trap. Let's alternate. There's our corner trap. And now I'm going to blow pipes back. If I have to brew here, I will do. Just trying to catch some bob flips. Not going to get them all. Let's alternate. Let's brew. Now everything's dead. I can keep my rigor on. Just keep attacking. Let the blob attack me one more time. They're a bit scary. Let's go after this blob. And we're going to heal off that other one. Let's get up close. And try heal. One more barrage. Bit of augury. Great. Let's kill this guy. And we'll phantom him. Let's step way back. Pick up all our gear. One. And two. I can try and get another one in. Great mage for the major. I'm 80 HP, it's okay for now. What I'm gonna do is barrage with these swayers, just do a bit of blood barrage. I wanna trap the melee, pray range for this guy. Okay, now let's get rid of this melee, let's just kill it. It's an annoyance, not good. So we've utilized this tile several times now to corner trap all this stuff. This melee is gonna come around the pillar as well. So let's be patient and let it come through. And kill it. I'll take one melee hit and then run back. And I'm letting my pillar just be attacked because it's the last few waves. You don't have to worry about it. Now let's come back. Put on our gear. Finish up here. Okay. Wait for the ranger. Go around. Well, this is actually a pretty rough run. We're using a lot of supplies. A lot of interesting souls. But we have plenty of supplies for Zerg. No response, very humble. Onto the ranger. I'll just take a second to check my phone in case it's nothing, uh, in case it's something important since it was buzzing. Ah. Should be fine. Alright. Oh uh, no, start with Mage Pro. You have a hell of a lot of defense. And you can always brew. Okay. Let's come around. Bomb barrage and let's have a look. Let's isolate the major, because the major is on his own and I can pray against everything else. I can either kill him and then kill the major, or I can alternate and flick them. So all I'm doing is looking at his timing. And then coming round. Still going. Jesus. Unlucky Jados. Good fight. Cool. That's the end of all the waves. I would say there were three relatively difficult waves there. That either required some luck or some planning on the on the behalf of the melee. 
Um, and there was one weird solution where you had to run around this side. Now, of course, all of these solutions are only exclusively uh, North Pillar solutions. Which is really what they should be. Every wave is solvable, even if it looks a bit difficult. All right, double major. We can be uh, a bit more brave now, we can come up. It's only double major, so... We can ignore our pillar, we don't need it anymore. Oh, looks like I've got a delivery or something. I'll just AFK while I do this then. I can, I've got the prayer, I've got to go get the door, so one sec. My dad's come around to measure some stuff. But this is completely normal first cape behavior. Mm. Was it pizza? Nah, uh, he's building he's building some bits of furniture and whatnot, so you've also got some plants that we need to hang up. He's gonna go measure some of that stuff. Oh uh, yeah, this this run will probably be made into a YouTube bit as well. I'll just clip it out and shove it in for week two. Uh, depending on how the Tebow runs go, and depending on how the other ones go, I will also put those up as well. So... Um, this is definitely one of the trickier runs I've had to do on stream. I'll keep all this in though, this is all fine. Any pure setups planned? No. Show dad? No, he needs to leave. He's, he's like in someone else's parking, parking spot. He's only going to be here for like two minutes. Shove it into the blooper reel? Yeah, had to answer the door. Okay, so from this point onwards, I basically camp rigor and I... Okay. When it respawns, kill the, kill the one that respawned first. From this point onwards, I can camp rigor and have enough to finish the run comfortably. So again, this is very good proof that with a setup like this, especially with this much prayer, basically no flicking is completely fine. Um, we got loads of Bastion which I shall be potting. When my timer goes down, I'll use a dose. So now to maximize the effect. And we can move on to Jads. Jads are really simple and really easy with Bofa. What we do is we stand one tile away from Jads' northwest side, so we stand with this uh, like gap between us, and we just stand here for the entire thing. And we use this camera angle where we look down like this. And we have that camera angle the entire time. So this is what we use. Restore is needed. And when healers come out, I'll just tag them with both of them. Or barrage. So I can I can barrage the middle clump over there. And then I can blow up the close ones. And now if I want to, I can pray melee. You don't really have to. And you see how like there's only one healer on me. All I did was tag them normally and there's only one on me. If there were more on me, I, I run north. And running north will pretty much solve all those issues for you. This is just one jab, this is nice and chill. Alright, see ya. So we're not going to be too worried about these healers. If I want to brew for a bit more HP, that's fine as well. Taking a little bit off me, no worries. 
Let's run up roughly to the center of the room and then attack. We're going to come up on one tile so we're standing in exactly the same position. And I'm going to use a dose of restore. And this camera angle gives us really good viewing on all three jets, which is what I want. It also lets us see behind that jet over here, which is also really good. Okay, let's get the blowpipe on and start tagging these guys. I'm gonna try and take a step back. Doesn't really work. That's fine. And let's clean up here. If we get to like 30 HP, I'll consider using a brew. But for now, it's okay. If in doubt, brew earlier though. If you're not confident on triples, brew early. Now let's run between these two jets, not taking any melee hits. Doesn't matter which one you kill, I'm going to choose to kill this one and have a good camera angle on both of them. And I'm going to brew three times. Trying to get attacks in. There's my restore. And now let's use another Bastion dose. That's both of these guys. And now in this case, when you have a healer trapped behind you and one in front of you, you just take a step north. And they're trapped. So running north again solves a whole lot of problems, including the sealers. I can flick Rigger now. So this is nice and chill. Use more restore. And let's go to the same position as always. They're all clumped. Let's send one barrage instead of anything else. Back on jet. And now I can pray melee. If you want to do the uh, jab melee trap stuff, just run between here, praying melee a few times, and then run through. Make sure you get pray for the hit. And now we have a more trap, so if we want to go and heal on them, we can do. This doesn't really matter much, though. It doesn't um, block it because it moves through it. One of them moves through. Six resource for Zuck. Three would be plenty, so I've got like three excess. And again, we don't have to turn off Rigor for the entire thing, so let's just do that. Okay, Zuck fight. We got a bit over a full Bastion, full stamina, which is fine. We just use it whenever we want to. One dose of stamina is enough, even no stamina is fine. I'm going to start by just keeping our DPS up. Follow the shield. And at the first part here, just go to the rubber edge and just keep attacking. After he attacks, we can move. There's the attack. Now we can move. And if you're on any of these three tiles, you'll be dragged, so you can use it to your advantage to make life easier. But you have to avoid them at all costs, really. We move to the next safe spot, make sure he attacks us, and then move. Don't go on these tiles. Keep attacking. Use a dose of stem, because I can. And on the right side, we're going to have to deal with the ranger. So what we're going to do is get pipe out and double spec it, and blow pipe walk across to the left. If you have to flick them, you have to. If you have to tank ranger, you can put sea shield on and brew. Let's get ready for the ranger. One spec, two spec, really good specs. Good RNG. And we're going to run to the safe spot, do one attack, and then keep running. Let's tag the major, and now we go to the safe spot and hit Zuck. Wait for Zuck to attack and move. Back on Zuck. There's the attack, I can move. Let's use more restore. We just attack and move and keep running here, straight to the safe spot. Anyway, anyway here is fine. I 
And we're trying to get him to 600 HP. There's the attack. Some decent hits. Very nice hits. So we're getting to 600. It's a bit slow, but that's fine. We can also slap on Preserve here to give ourselves a bit more range boost. We need one more attack here before we run. There we go. We don't want to fall behind the shield. We really don't want to fall behind the shield. Very important not to. You can be slightly ahead, but not slightly behind. Another dose of restore. There's 600, we have to be under 600, so there's 586. Now I can heal the Major. I can lower Zuck, but I don't want to get him below... Uh, I don't want to get him too low. But I can do a couple more hits on him, and then back to this safe spot and kill the Major. Four eighty is when Jan spawns. Oh, four seven nine anyway. I'm right clicking a lot of stuff up at Zuck. This is a bit scary. Okay, now let's go for Jad. Uh for Zuck. When Jad spawns, we just click him like normal. Hack him. And you can hit him from both sides. Gotta be a bit careful with the uh, the healers, but that's fine. More restore. And we flip our camera and we just watch these safe spots. Wait for the attack to come out, and now we can move. You can attack your head from here. I'm 107 range now, so I'm considering reparting. Let's use a dose of brew. A super restore. I can uh, barrage those guys there to get all of them. And now let's uh, use a Bastion. There's the attack, let's move. Healers won't hit you too hard. You're running away from them for a lot of this. There's Chad, back on Zack. We're not going to wait for anything, we're just going to send. Another dose of sen uh, stamina. So we want to get him close to 240, but not quite there. I'm going to wait on a side to proc him. We can also take another dose of uh, brew and restore and uh, get super ready. I'm going to wait for my tick down. It's like 15 seconds away. So we're at 290. Gotta be careful now. I'm going to take off rigor to not proc it. Dose of brew. Dose of restore. Now we're at 278, so I can proc this. Dose of, uh, Dose of Sebastian. And we can attack Zuck and try and proc it now. And now we want to really stay with the shield. Okay, it's not quite there. There's 258. Wait for another rotation. So we're like full supplies for everything. Got loads of time. Let's try proc it. When the shield touches the corner, we can try. Try one more time here. I'm going to use Bofa to tag them here. Because blowpipes are not quite right. A bit too far. Now I'm staying with the shield and I can tag them. Don't know why I'm praying mage. Just a reaction. I'm going to come into the corner, do one or two attacks and come out. And I'm going to follow the shield on the leading edge, just like this. Right clicking everything. Just right clicking all the way through. I have a blowpipe speckle too, I can use them. Let's use one here. I'm gonna duck into the corner for a second and then back out. So we're just using the corner a little bit, not too much. And heals are dead. So they don't last very long. Now it's the final part, so let's use brew. And we're just staying completely with the shield. And on Zerg. More stem, more bastion. You can see we're just staying on the edge of the shield. We're never going behind it.
Not reading hits here. Taking a second. You can do this. You can like run like this. This is completely fine. There's a set. Let's attack the ranger here and kill the ranger. Another blowpipe spec to try and kill it. And now we run with the shield. Really, really carefully with the shield. Still DPSing. Same as before. After we tag the major, we stay with the shield. Back on Zerg. No need to fight the major. We can just pray. We have like four, four restores. No greeting hits. We're not going to get another set. As always, if you can get someone to do Zuck timers for you to make sure the sets aren't going to spawn mid healers, that's great. But it's not going to make or break runs. We're not greeting hits here. Probably. Nothing too crazy. Good and simple. Interesting run, though. Couple of hard waves. Uh, I'll probably put that run up on YouTube. Next up is Tebow Cape. Thoughts about marking the tiles you get dragged? You can do. I don't think there's a really, I don't really think there's right and wrongs to how you mark tiles as long as you know what's up. I know that I can use my marked save spots and one tile either side of them, and that's my like, that's what I can work with. That's so that's what I use. So personally, I think that's the best way to do it to minimize to minimize the amount you need them. It's just like mark those four and one either side is fine. Anywhere else is not fine. Okay, Tebow setup. We're using similar stuff, we're just replacing the crystal with a Tebow. That's all it really is. I'm gonna grab an Ellie, but it doesn't really make a difference again. Pretty minimal. Uh, the setups are in the command here. I'm just gonna grab it and have a get the Tebow one. RTG Vams, yeah, arrows obviously. Alt, top. And a blood pipe. Okay. We're sticking with a six brew, I think. Seven brew is probably a bit wiser for this, but it's okay. Seven brew for the crystal, maybe six brew for this. And the setup we'll be using is uh, that, with more with more resources, obviously. I'm doing. I'm going to do a sub sixty five to end up. It's going to be my like trio of tasks. All right. I'm going to grab a drink, uh, go take a piss, and then we'll get started. Okay.
Right, number two. Tebow Cape. So on this run, the same uh, same ways we go about solving. What I'm not going to do is spend time explaining exactly how to solve flicks and blobs and set up the basic waves because they're all in the Bofa run. So if you're new to Inferno, go watch that. Um, otherwise, if you want to see a bit of a faster run and like more sort of DPS solution, easy solves, this is the one for you if you have mech gear. All right, let's go. Looks good. Would I go Ancestral Top and Barrow's Loves or Z-Vams and Arams? Uh, I would rather take Z-Vams and Arams. The Vams are good damage, and damage is like key. So... Healing, not so much. Alright, let's drop some restores up on Pillar. Take a second to put my Blood Barrage on this, and uh, send one Barrage and have a look and see what it is. Not a very good Barrage, let's go for these guys and pray range. Early waves. So even on first capes on these early waves, don't be afraid to use more rigor, be a bit more aggressive. In a setup like this, you can just destroy stuff. Uh, the Ellie is nice to have on for prayer, but again, doesn't really matter. So one barrage. Let's not be a pussy. Go click bats. Kill them. Maybe start flicking. If you have this kind of gear, you can probably flick like this already. I would hope so. Doing anything for sub 60, 55? I'm doing a sub 65 because it's the GM task, and I can do it off task quite happily. But I don't really fancy doing lower than that, because anyone who's anyone is probably in the Inferno Discord at the first point. Uh, in the first place. Let's do one barrage. Start flicking the blob. And uh, again, in this gear we can be aggressive, so in these early waves, don't be afraid to come up to a blob and just murk it. Send the barrage, switch to your proper gear. And uh, clean up. And you can see we're just not taking damage. While you can take damage, it's just not likely. So we can start, you know, any, anywhere in this area. We're still flicking the block. But let's not run away, let's just run towards him. Just killing what we can do. One barrage into our tank here. Very accordingly. Kill this dude. Very good. Roughly back to the pillar. One barrage. Switch gear. And I'm going to come and hide behind the pillar just to drag the blob in. Maybe kill this bat on this side of the pillar, you know. Early waves don't matter too much. We're not going to bother, say, spotting the blob. We're still, like, angled, so... Let's roughly flick our prayers for this guy. Ellie makes this really nice. Good. Now let's go back and drag these blobs in. Nibble a safe spot to go and get a hit on this. That blob can probably see me, so let's just uh, try and flick my prayer here. And by standing in the center, we make space for him so he comes around and sits there nicely. Lots of pipe cleanup. What we don't want to do is attack a blob from here. We want to make sure we come around and pull him across. So even though you want to be a little bit faster on these kind of runs, you want to get through it in a decent pace. Don't want to bore yourself to death. Try and stick to procedure and make sure things are still in the right place. Otherwise you're going to run into problems later down the road. One barrage, switch through our gear. Time to clean up. Good. And now it's just a melee, so... I'm just going to stand here, because it's just a melee. Cool. Let's come back. Now there's a bat in the fold, so we pay a bit of range. One barrage, let's kill the bat. As always, we can kill melees from the south side, so we're going to go there. Just finishing up on this first. And uh, because we're in pretty good gear, I'm going to flick some rigor. Just with my blowpipe. It's safe spotted, so... It's very, very likely to die before it digs. So we can save ourselves some uh, pain and effort trying to deal with it as we do on a Bofa cape. And just kill. 
Bomb barrage. Let's kill this bat. The melee is stuck. Now for this melee, I will take a hit. That took a bit longer. There we go. Now I can go back to flicking rigor. Now we have a blob. Let's come back and think about where to move for the blob. Stand still, have a think. It's safe spotted, okay. This is out of blowpipe range, but if I take a step forwards, it's in range. So you could either T-O it, send a barrage, whatever it is. Doesn't really matter. Now let's flick some, uh, flick some rigor. Again, really good setup, gotta utilize it. Super, super easy flicking. Onto the blob. On barrage. It's a low one. Let's go for another one. And even at this wave, I haven't lost HP. I'm still 104. So, the power of Missouri and Ellie. Take a sip of Super Restore. One barrage, and let's start flicking the blob. It's only a blob right now, so I can go for these nibblers. Let's try and get them. Now there's a bat on me, so let's try and uh, flick this guy. I'm just flicking the blob. I'm around the pillar. I'm gonna take a, a hit here because I didn't wait for the hit to come through, and that's the one that gets me. Uh, no, SGS is awful. Here, standard procedure. One barrage. Not a very good one. Let's use another one. Much better. Good. Let's duck behind the pillar. If I want to, I can even T by the bat. It's completely fine. And I'm just going to let things sit on the pillar. I've come to the left side to make space for other things, and now I can hit the melee without problems from the blob. Let's go behind the pillar again. There's nibbles over there. Doesn't matter. Losing south pillar is preferable. Let's flick the blob. And now before I even kill the blob, I'm going to go and uh, cast a barrage over here. Make sure it's dead and then come all the way back. Still dealing with the blobs properly. Major last alive. Don't forget to pray. Okay. One barrage. Let's start flicking the two blobs. I can flick these blobs again and get one more barrage off, so I'm going to do that. And now I'm going to run behind this side of the pillar to isolate the two blobs. Now I can kill the melee. Alternatively, to leave the nibbles alive. If you don't, if you don't think you have time or you're not dealing with it well, just leave them alive. Could end FCF with a live coaching run? More work, of course, than I do. It's very hard to coach people because if they die, they're dead, and I can't stop that. And I can't tell them what to do mid-wave; it won't improve. Um, I can break down vods and explain what to do, but it's very difficult to actually uh, get people to do the right thing mid-run. There's one barrage, it's dead. This guy is safe spotted. We unsafe spot him. Come and stand up next to him. You shouldn't purposely try and kill South Pillar, but you also shouldn't try to go out of your way to save South Pillar. Having South Pillar alive at 50 will probably kill you more than it will save you. Alright, two melees. Send another barrage since it's just melees. And we can come up and chill. I can come and maybe even safe spot that guy over there and just flick one melee. is over, which means nibblers, which means come up and stand and be brave. Another barrage and then into pipe here. Finish it up. Now it's only a ranger, so let's be brave. Let's just go click it. And for this run I'm going to be doing a lot more one-ticking because it's going to both save prayer and boost my damage and it's really easy to do. 
I was trying to avoid doing this, but it just makes life easy. If you can do it, do it. We can even start this wave in the middle. It's just Ranger and two bats, or one bat, so... Crush the middle one. Maybe kill the bat. And a lot of this run, if you want to speed it up, is going to be like this. It's just a lot of flicking. And if you don't want to, then lazy flick or camp range spring, flick rigger, whatever it is. Okay. Roughly center. There's two bats now, so still only range NPCs. Very little worry. Let's use rigger to burst the bats down. I do not like dealing with them. Just killing everything I can do, doesn't matter what you kill. They're all low-level stuff. Now we have a blob to deal with, so let's start playing a bit more safely. Come back, one barrage. Have a little think, Ranger's coming towards us, blob is safe spotted. Let's go for the blob, now that it's on this side. Not a very high barrage. The middle one is dead, so let's go for the major. I'm keeping the melee stuck behind the pillar, although it is frozen. And I pray melee just in case for good procedure, and then go after the ranger. Alright. Everything is far north, sorry, far south, so let's run north. Kill this bat. Everything is frozen, we're gonna wait it out though. Take a step back to make sure you don't get like rounded on the corner. The center barrages, whatever it is. All dead. Now let's alternate. And now in the last runs I've been running behind the pillar, but in this run I think I'm just going to go and kill the blob. A singular blob in this gear is like, whatever, just come and click it. Cool. A bit more restore usage. Let's hide from the blob. And just wait for a second. Let it drag in. And now... This side, let the ranger drag in. If I take a step forward, I can even reach the bats from here. I can deal with the bats without them reaching me, just to get rid of it. Oops. I'm gonna wait for this guy to die. Oh, not quite. I'm coming around, and I'm coming around this way so I can get to the nibblers that I left on the pillar. I'm gonna go pipe it. And then back on the ranger, make sure it's dead. So with only one NPC alive, just gonna maneuver about. Very little threat or issue. Next up, two blobs I think. Yes, let's duck behind north because there's two NPCs over here. Let's start flicking this guy because we're on him now. Doesn't matter if we take a hit or two. Good luck on the three. Oh, be cheesy. Easy game. Let's kill this. Lovely. And let's kill the blob and alternate. Rigger on because I'm a bit low. Blob barrage for some HP. And then kill this guy and move up. There's two nibblers on the pillar, so what I can do is like a little Kodai switch. I can do Kodai Occult, Blood Barrage, and it should be enough to kill it. Great. So if you want to save a bit more time and make life easy, you can do stuff like that. Don't need the full switch or anything. 87 HP. Double Blood Wave means we're collapsing into a melee, so I can Blood Barrage this. It's a nice, easy wave. There's not much on it. I'll send another one. 
And I'm going to hide from the ranger. Now I'm going to hit the melee. Remember, from this position, you can do some cool stuff when you come out. And it will get trapped if you do this. Nice trick. Barrage, see what's happening. In this case, not much. I'm gonna have a little trick here where I move behind the pillar using the bat. I'm gonna step out once and then back in. I didn't show this in the last run, but it's a nice method to get the melee around the pillar. And the benefit is stuff will now pull into the pillar while you've done this. Let's pray melee, get control. I don't think I had a, a chance to show that in the last boat for run. Into the ring. Back on pillar. Let's see. One barrage and stand still. Switch to this gear. Let's go after this nibbler. I'm not going to rush getting to him because he looks like he's quite far away. So I'm going to kill the melee instead and let him unfreeze. Melee's right here, I may as well. Now I can go for it. And it still doesn't get to my pillar. Now we go for the bat, and uh, not being afraid, I'm going to go after the ranger now. This bat, I can stand close and attack. Get rid of it. How much harder is Inferno with both a Crystal Armor versus T-Bow? Not very. Pretty similar, actually. The big difference is T-Bow versus Majors. You can kill Majors more consistently a lot faster. One barrage, and let's go meet the Ranger and let this stuff pull in. Ignore the blobs. Ignore the, ignore the melee, ignore the nettles, everything. It's just a bit slow. So you have to be aware of things like whether or not a melee is going to dig on you and how to solve it. Which is why my emphasis for the Bofa Capes is doing just that. Um, all of my solves revolve around keeping control of the melee. And then once it's alternating, that's it. Now we can Prey Mage and go after these guys. And Prey Mage for as soon as he sees me. And uh, you can kill this guy from this side and it's not too bad. For that, you stand up here, and you'll have a little stack. It's not quite as good as the other stack, but it's fine. It's still okay. On Barrage, let's stand still. I'm actually praying Mage, but it doesn't really matter. Let's kill this bat with Rigor. I'm going to Tebow this minion to get rid of it, I'm going to flick the blob. I'm just getting rid of that nibbler for peace of mind. I mean, you can leave it again, but it's pretty easy to just Tebow. And again, in this gear, Bro's dead. If you're going to start Inferno Journey this weekend, uh, I urge you to watch my Bofa video on YouTube. Or you can run back in this VOD and have a look at the run I did today. It'll, uh, it'll help a lot. Alright, one barrage. The melee is going to come towards me. I'm going to duck behind the pillar and start killing the blob. I'm going to come into the blob to get ready when it pops and I'm going to pray melee. I'm going to show I keep killing the blob. And it doesn't matter what I kill here, as long as I kill something. Now let's get the middle one and switch back to our tank gear and clean up. Let's untrap the melee. Keep killing this ranger. Great. Let's go to the nibbler safe spot. And just do a two-way Kodai, Club Barrage, try again. Maybe Aubrey on for a flick. And again. Tebow, Tebow's fine there as well, to be honest. And I've just had Rigor on this entire time.
Bit of a tanky melee. Okay. Go after the bats. I can use one pipe spec here perhaps, get some heals. Bit nicer than barraging. I'm always going to try and reserve one spec on these capes. But using one for healing on low waves is okay. You just never know when you're going to need it. Okay, more blobs are appearing, so let's be a bit careful. One barrage. And uh, what I'm going to do is going to come back here. I'm going to try and flick this melee and this ranger. If your timing's not right, that's fine. Just pray range and kill the melee. This is where my pipe spec could be useful. But thinking about what to do there early enough means I'm not going to be too fussed when it comes to it. I can just kind of do it. Alright. Had the wrong gear on for a second. Let's pray range. Another one because it wasn't very good. Let's go around the pillar and hit this ranger. Just gonna finish it up. Hello! Alright, we finish this guy. And after he dies, we give it some time to let the other one come around the corner. When the blob stops moving, he attacks. One barrage. And clean up. Ranger double melee is not a scary wave at all. One barrage, and as it turns out, this wave is solved by standing still. As usual. Let's keep one ticking. When I'm attacking from here, I've got to be careful, because he's going to come towards me and attack me, so I've got to take a step back at least. Two rangers, don't be afraid, come up and stand close. Clean up these guys with blowpipe. And we're going to run back around North Pillar to bring this guy closer. Save us some time. these as well. May as well. Double nibbler wave. No worries at all. Barrage and done. There's two together so let's try and get them. Finish with blowpipe. Great. Now we're on to major. Let's pray mage to begin and these are still simple waves. On barrage, Tebow major. If you want to you can flick rear on this to kill it faster. Just Tebowing it normally is fine too. Looking like this is good. Not to do quick prayers if you fancy. On barrage, let's hide from the major. Now we can pray range. Don't do don't be too hasty with the bat, otherwise you'll get dragged out. Prayers up. Ebo Major, and uh, maybe walk a little bit to blow back this guy. Great. Let's come back to the safety of the pillar and start flicking a little bit. Lovely. You see how much faster the Majors are, which is the big benefit of this. One barrage and let's hide. Um, and throw another one here. The major can see me because it's slid along the south pillar. This is why south pillar is bad. And I'm going to let it pull in as much as it can do. Now I'm going to come out a second because it would be corner trapped. And now I can fight it without having to bother with the bats or deal with the bats.
We're just gonna lazy flick the entire thing. I think. It's quite nice. That safe spot. Prayers off. Use a bit of rigor. Gonna meet the other one and uh, flick it. Good. Major and blobs. One barrage, and I'm gonna run behind the other. Everything is far south, so there's no reason not to. If there was something north, I'd be a bit more careful, but this is fine. Now I'm just gonna hit the major and alternate. Wait for the blob to finish its attack cycle and go behind the pillar. Now he's in place, fight him. Great mage for the major. Good. Use some more restore. One barrage and have a think. Everything is safe spotted, no need to move. Let's go after the second nibbler. Now let's go around the pillar and deal with the major. That will be safe spotted. Great. Easy wave. What's that prayer flicking? Uh, no, this is well, well established stuff, been around for a long time. Unless your name is Mr. Salad. Now the blob is going to slide to get to me. If I want to corner trap it, I have to go there early. Go to the bat safe spot, do it properly. Now we're past the early waves, I'm taking it a bit more seriously, so I'm not doing any like the run out and hit stuff. You can get away with it low level, but if you start with low HP on these waves, you might die. Uh, I'm gonna run back here. So if in doubt, just run away. You can safe spot both those big NPCs and deal with these smaller NPCs, which is a lot easier. And then we can alternate the stack. Don't worry about the nibblers. Keep alternating till the blob is done. There we go, now we can come in. Quick one tick ban C bet. And we can hit the blob. And I'm still not worried about those nibblers. I'm gonna deal with this guy first. And a barrage with a bit of augury. And uh, I can do the code I switch. Now that's only one NPC left. Barrage and run behind the North Pillar. We're trying to get the Major closer. And now I can be brave here. It's just blobs and a Major. Maybe Rigor on. Let's go meet the Major and try and get a cycle going. Now we alternate with Rigor. Let's see how fast it dies. Ignoring that guy. Nearly there. Keep alternating. Great. Now let's run over this way. Get the other blob to drag in. So you can see with like many, with you know one or two blobs plus a major or a ranger, just alternate. There's no danger at all. No matter where you stand, how you do it. I should be killing this blob from this side. I've also taken more damage than I'm willing to uh, risk it, so let's come back and do this properly. Come back, maybe the Mersori legs off. One barrage. 
Supervise. Hopefully get gonna, gonna line up a third one now. And that's 99. Perfect HP. One barrage. Looks like there's one alive, let's try and go for it. And now let's just sit back and kill this melee. Bit over good flicking. Let's go for the major. Using plenty of restore. Okay, now we run. I didn't even see it respawn. And just kill it. Pillar is very good. Actually, if I come across the melee stuck behind the pillar, which makes my life quite easy. It's not exactly a noob tactic, but it's, uh, well, it's fun. Nothing on this setup is a must. Uh, I am wearing Ring of the Gods, not Ring of Endurance as well. Ellie digs, not a problem. Major's dead anyway. Let's go after him. You can use Ring of Suffering and it's good. Hi, yes, son. Bombarage, stand still. Let's kill these bats with rigor. Maybe flick a little bit if I can do. Go for the bat. Very range while he's respawning, and then back on the major when he's dead. Not too concerned with the melee. Really, I'm just camping mage prey and flicking rigor. Completely unpotted. Let's run away from the melee. Ah, major died. Okay, great. So in these runs with this gear, with T-Bone, it's just like, Major tends to die before anything happens, really. Which is very nice. Okay. One barrage. Sit still and assess. Let's get away from the Major. Towards the blob is fine. I'm gonna try and get a barrage on this, I'm praying Mage while I do so, in case I get dragged out. One more flick for the blob, and then round we go. Flick a bit of rigor again. Got to decide on what I, what I want to do if the melee digs. And the answer is, well, the melee, the mage is going to die. Dies in like three hits. Blowpipe to finish. And then back on the block. So, I had an idea for a plan, but then I looked at the HP of the major and said, I don't need a plan. Which in itself is fine. Let's blood barrage to heal. Nice hit. And off we go. One barrage, Major's trapped, flick the blob. Let's go for another one on these guys. And then let's come back here. Let's alternate the blob and the Major. Let's get one more flick in. Now begin alternating. From here, I can take a step northeast, trap the melee. Melee's gonna dig now. And Major's already dead. There's the trap anyway, still utilizing it. Doing a really lazy flicks here. Let's use some more restore. Go for the bat. Alright. Mr. Blob, we're gonna attack you from this side of the pillar, as we always do. Oops. 
not quite dead. There we go. One barrage into our proper gear. Melee is frozen. Good. One barrage, and we gotta get away from the melee. Let's go straight around the pillar. Away from the melee. And now we're flicking the blob. What I'm gonna do is come around the pillar, and I can attack the major, and then flick melee afterwards. And on this side, that's always gonna be on time. So you have a really easy off tick, and it's guaranteed. Yeah, you can watch my VODs. These runs will be on YouTube as well. There should be nothing scary about this. If you are scared, kill the melee. Getting rid of it would be uh, completely fine as well. Start with the bat, flicking the blob. I can go back to range spray and flick back here. After it launches the attack, I can go back to range spray. Kill the blob from this side and use a bit more restore. Maybe I kill the bat as well before I deal with the blob. Mage is alive, let's go for it. Pray mage. Lovely. One barrage, and let's go around the pillar. I'm gonna have to off tick this. I'm just doing it visually by sight. You can see the melee is a bit far away for the attack. If it's too close or too far, I've got to move in and out. We're corner trapping the blob. It would be trapped either way. I take a step forward like this, it's still trapped. The melee is blocking it. Nibblers on South Pillar, don't care about them. Gonna deal with the rest of the wave first. Taking a bit of damage, let's use one blowpipe spec and Kodai these nibbles. Try and get them down. That's a 118, which is two dead. Now we run back into our spot. Barrage the rest of our HP. 99, lovely. More restore usage. And we're getting through to wave 50 very shortly. One barrage, stand still. Maybe another barrage. I'm going to go north here because I've got two melees. And I'm going to utilize the little trick here. Oh, actually, I've got to be a bit careful. I'll kill this melee. If I try and come across here, this melee might block this one, so probably best to just chill. I'll get rid of the one that's in the way of the major. Let's set up the melee safe spot trap. The blob reads your prayer, then attacks with the opposite one on a cycle of check 2-3, attack 2-3, check 2-3, attack 2-3. So if you pray range on the check, it'll do check your praying range 2-3, attack with mage 2-3. That's all that happens. Blow pipe to finish, and let's come and get control of the melees if possible. Now we have control. No nibblers on the pillar. Now we start with Missouri Body on because it's wave 50 and Augury for lower HP. One barrage and just chill, don't do anything. I actually want South Pillar to fall at wave 50, it's really bad to keep it up, so let's just let it die. Now we can test this as before by clicking the Major or the Ranger and seeing where it pulls us. Clicking Major pulls us out here and kills us. But the, the back NPC will always off tick you. So if I come out, I can do it manually, I can click here and then the Major. You can alternate this, you can 2-tick it, you can 1-3 it, which is what this is. Let's go 2-ticking.
And now we can finish up. Let's run back. Thank you, Ron. Mage Prey 1 Barrage. And now let's isolate the Ranger. Let's go towards the Major. Don't have to deal with this guy, it's only a bat. Get ready for the bat. We can flick it a little bit here. Just mitigate a hit or two, that's all it really is. And now we can go back to flicking a bit of a rigor perhaps. Speed it up. Both a setup benefit melee with both or a blow pipe? It's about the same thing. I wouldn't bother switching your weapon. Just click it with whatever you have on. The difference is too minimal to care. But if it's far away, then Bofa, if it's close, blowpipe is usually what I'd say. I'm actually 87 HP, uh, 84 HP, so let's heal up to 99. On any of these 50 plus waves, it's important to be super topped up. You never know when you're going to get hit off spawn for like a 40 and a 40. I'm not stopping until 99. There we go. Go to the start tile and clean up. Proper gear on. Another wave. One barrage, and let's just stand still and pray range. Let's kill these bats. I'm just isolating both of these guys so I can choose how to deal with them later. I'm gonna make sure I'm not past the pillar edge, and then I'm in tile range. I can click this. If in doubt, pray mage. Now let's come out. Just taking our time with it. Take a step back. Now he's trapped and I can deal with the bat on its own. If I was 70 HP, would I grew? Depends what wave it was on. If it was like Blob Double Bat Melee Major Ranger, I'd probably brew, yeah. But if it was just like a Major and a Ranger, then no. It really depends. It's about what you feel comfortable with. If I'm doing like a first cave attempt, then there's not really any circumstances where I would not be 100 HP before a wave start. Uh, unless I like purposefully didn't want to be. Like, you know, 93 is fine, all that. 96 it was. I should really go for 99 to be pedantic, but it's okay. But, I mean, you'll see me brew in a couple of ways if I get low. Put the right gear on. One barrage. I didn't get the barrage, and I'm not going to chase the nibblers. A lot of people here, they'll miss the barrage and they'll go chase it, but just ignore it. Because if it's on North Pillar, I can go over here and it's fine. Okay. Let's corner trap the ranger. Oh, no, it's fine. They shuffled in. So what I want to do here is I want to get access to the major. So let's kill the blob which is gatekeeping us right now. Or actually, because I can come over here and it's only a ranger, I can probably get this nibblers. I'm going to try and flick the prayer just in case. It can't see me from here, good. But I was making sure and testing it just in case. Now we go kill the blob. It's between the ranger and the blob, and the blob is like less of a problem. So. Now we don't want the blob to respawn, so let's use Rigor. If we can avoid it, that'd be good. DPS is good. Hopefully it's dead. Not quite. Not respawned, good. They're so using Rigor, presumably paying off there. Let's heal. Just a little. My barrage's accuracy has been really bad today. There's 99. Finish with pipe. Okay. One barrage. Let's flick this blob and come in and tuck into the pillar. We're just tucking in to let things gather and see where they land. 
It's not a very good position, but we can deal with it. Let's go to the nibble safe spot first of all to clear up these guys, because we can do. Making sure we right click and don't get dragged out. And we're just flicking the blob the whole time, nice and simple. So there's a few ways to deal with this. The most simple way is to come out to this tile here, which will off-tick. You can find this in a lot of guides, and then alternate. And I'm going to do that. Let's use Rigor on. And it's the back NPC first. Let's flick the blob one more time. And let's just alternate for a second. And then get comfy, then click. You can click whenever you want, of course. Now the blob does not exist. And we set up the stack to account for the bat. Rigor's on, so it dies faster. And this is one of those waves that burns prayer when you're learning. But if you have a teamer, you can get away with it. Major dies fast. So using like a dose or two for this kind of wave is completely fine. Very ranged end, go behind the pillar. Click the blob. I don't really want to kill the blob from there, so let's go around the pillar and kill the bat. Maybe the ranger too. Those are restore. Used a lot there. And now the blob is in position, let's kill him first. Remember, at this kind of wave, the ranger is more useful than the blob. Let's heal up. This big uh, blood bag at the end is really nice. Want one more heal to get 99? There we go. More restore. One barrage, and let's go back here and pray range. We're just tucking into the corner, making sure everything drags as far across as possible. There's two nibbles on the safe spot, I can run there. There's only two range, two range NPCs on me. So two range NPCs on me, let's just go here. I can finish up with like a two-way, try and get it as fast as possible. And another one. A bit of augury. Should be dead. Okay, everything is stacked up nicely, let's go around. Bit of rigor flicking. Bob isn't in Phantom. Uh, that side's not phantomable, really. It's just about making it so that when you kill a blob, you stand next to it. And I can't stand next to that blob because it's in the open, other stuff will see me. I want to clump them all together to make Ice Barrage or Blood Barrage more effective. So it's about having it in a constant spot, especially on late waves. Finish with a blow point. And this guy can die here. That's safe spot. Kill both of these guys. And now let's kill a blob, let it come around. Just about having it in this like very constant position. Tank Gira. Let's corner trap the ranger. Plenty of time. Now let's have a think. Is everything going to line up okay? Looks like it. Let's let it free. Let's go around the pillar and start flicking both blobs together. Okay. So we're going to have a, a nice solution here. We're going to keep flicking the blobs and we're going to run out here in line of sight of the major and alternate. Even on a first cape, you can do this. Looks a bit scary, but as long as you're okay one ticking, this is free. HP, no damage taken, nice and easy. Now we can run back, click the blobs one more time, and then come through. One tick, one tick alternation just it opens up so many possibilities, it's really nice. There's a setup you saw for a blob, where you run around the pillar for one tick, then come back with only mage blob in line of sight. Um, sure, you can do stuff like that. I don't really think it's useful. 
There's a lot of very like fun souls that aren't good. Just flick the back one and bring him around the pillar. He keeps wanting scuffed. Great. Thank you, Ron. Now we have a melee. Let's just stand still. Go to Nibbler safe spot. The ranger is stuck. I didn't get dragged out, so I can reach this guy again. Let's go back. What I want to do is drag the major closer. Let's go to the ranger, wait for the attack, and just chill here for a second. Let's let that major pull in. Now let's attack it. So what do I do now if a melee digs? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back around here. I used this a few times before. Good timing, and I'm going to run over here. I took a hit from the major. So not exactly clean, but now it's set up. Let's use one blowpipe spec on them, just to get a bit more HP topped up. And now rigor to finish off the major. So this is just paying to be topped up, so if I take a really big hit, it's going to be a bit more of a problem. But that's fine. Finish him up. And at 67 HP, I'm just not too worried about this anymore. Let's go around the pillar. Back on this guy. Oh, actually, I need to heal, so let's heal. Melee healing is not great. Doable, but not great. Let's set up a safe spot. And let's try and get full. Ninety four is not bad. Tank gear on. If it digs on you badly, just kill it. One barrage. Only the ranger on me. Let's pray range. Now we can probably get access to those. Let's barrage it. Let's stand still because we know this corner traps melees. And uh, to keep things simple, let's kill the melee. Use more restore. It's not going to dig for quite some time, and in the scare, we can get away with it. Now let's go for the major. Wait for the wait for the ranger to attack, and then go over here. There are other ways to do it. That's just like the easiest way. Staying on that side is like best, right? If I if I stay over here and the melee digs, I can come over to these tiles. Just fine. But I really have to, like, sit here and let it happen. If I'm over here dealing with the major, it's going to be a bit more difficult. Now let's heal up. You can heal from the bat as well. Right, you know, HP, please. Thank you. Barrage and let's have a think. Okay, just the bat on us. So let's tuck into the pillar and pray range and kill this guy. We'll let all this stuff gather. Looks like the melee is going to come down the pillar, so let's pray melee. And let's go for the one on the pillar first. Try and corner trap the melee. Didn't quite get it, but I'm praying melee, so it's no biggie. I'm going to keep right clicking this guy until he dies. We want to protect the pillar. Great, now I can kill the melee. So with the bat in front, we click the back NPC, uh, well we, we attack whichever one we want, but in this case clicking the back NPC drags us out here, so we want to manually path one back. To test it, you can do this, and you can see only the back one attacks. So it'll look like this. Let it reset. There's no glob, so we can set up a nice cycle for ourselves. Let's 
And let's uh, let this ranger come in a bit, shall we? Bit more restore. Barrage, I think. Well, let's pray range. Let's go for the DPS option. Double blowpipe spec. Try and get a melee flick in, maybe. Another one. Brew if I have to. Step under for a second. Just so I can get more brew off. Now I want to flick these two guys. Let's set up the melee safe spot. More brew. Let's run back here when it's over. Rigor on, kill the melee. Get an alternation going. And now let's just run way over here, away from the ranger. We can deal with this guy in a vacuum. Stand by him. Yeah, it's a rough one. At the end of the day, if a melee is going to hit you like 40, 40, 40, you die. It's unfortunate. It's probably the only thing that can really kill you, if even if you're playing like properly, properly. But as far as that goes, double blowpipe spec. Try and get flicks off. The thing is, it was off tickable. I just chose to not like flick it. And then stand on the brewer is like fine as well. Difficult, but I wouldn't put it past people to watch it and attempt it themselves or make it work. Right, full HP regardless, on barrage. Let's isolate the major. Brain range. Let's kill this bat. Rigor on. Try and flick a blob or two if you can do it. And now we go flick these guys. When the melee digs, I'm gonna go here. Or I can take a step out and tank the blob for a bit to prepare the melee safe spot. Now that it's prepared, I use it. Maybe tank like two blob hits. Just keeping eyes on. Now Major's dead, we can kill melee. Let's go deal with the blob. Let the ranger drag in. He's nearly dead. Pray melee for a second here while he dies. Ignore the blob. Now we go back on. Get another dose of restore. It's stuck behind the pillar because everything is far. Blow pipe on and flick the blob. Let's keep flicking the blob. The major is going to tuck into the corner. Okay. Let's come out and try and heal a little bit. And alternate. I want to get the melee set up. I'm not sure I can move out here. I'm not going to bother. Don't know if the ranger will see me. If you got to take a blob hit there to like move, that's fine. If you can keep cycle, keep cycle. Should I flick the blob here? 
do some fun stuff like this. Round we go. Bring the blood closer. And um, we're going to want to heal, so we'll do it on the mini blob, and then the bats if needed. Doesn't really, doesn't really matter what you kill or how at this stage. That's fine. At safe spot, and let's heal off the second one. Just a 99 if we can get it. Looks like we can. 98, there we go. And on any of these late waves, you can always brew and uh, pre-brew for a wave. One barrage, let's trap this blob. Okay. So really, I want to try and like get rid of some NPCs here. So I'm going to take a second to think while I flick this blob. So if I try and come around this way, the ranger's going to slide across and hit me. If I wait and do nothing, the melee is going to dig on me. And as it turns out, I'm pretty confident I can kill the melee if it digs, and I pray melee. So what I'm going to do is uh, pretty much exactly that. I'm just going to let it dig. My pillar has got one nibbler on, so it's fine. There's no point panicking, really. So what I'm going to do is get rigor on in preparation. Click it. And just pray melee. And if I take hits, I've got pipe to death. So this is taking what looks like a really complex wave and just simplifying it by practically doing nothing. Great. Now I can go back to dealing with the blobs. So I'm incorporating the other blob and I'm trying to get this going. Let's make this even more simple by killing another NPC. Let's kill this guy. I could alternate to catch both blobs or just like try and flick my best. Might take a few hits, that's okay. I'm still flicking this guy over there. Let's take a step out so I don't get messed up on the corner. And I'm still flicking, flicking that blob over there. Let's use a dose of Brewer. Dose of Restore. And a Bastion, because we're getting to that kind of wave and this could be awkward. We're going to come out and come back over here. This is so I don't have to deal with the other blob as well. Alternatively, do the standard pillar stack. And alternate. Doesn't really matter. Either of them work. This is the chill option. Let's put Rigor on. In case the blob is on tick. Oh, off tick. Now that it's dead, let's go around. Not a very good barrage. Let's do one more. Okay. HP all as well. Range popped, defense is good. So we're taking these waves really slowly. No need to like over overdo anything. Augury on. One barrage, click the ground, and it turns out there's two melees on this side of the pillar. And what I can do is I want to deal with that nibbler. So let's go to melee safe uh, let's go to nibbler safe spot. And go attack. Pray melee solves this part of the pillar, so I don't have to worry about it. I should probably put on my ink oh, there we go. And we'll go for the other one as well, to prevent it from being a problem down the road. Great. Off we go. Time for a title change? Uh, I don't think so. This is still accurate. We use Rigor, kill these guys. Get rid of them. Great. Same thing again. Come out to the back one. Click the major whenever. And rigor always on for pillar stacks. Super invaluable. Lovely. Go 
Go back, or Greer. Bomb barrage, and uh, from here I just pray range, because the mage is trapped behind the range. Now we can come up and I can uh, go get this guy still. What I'd like to do is drag everything in, so let's go back round. And just let it pull in. Okay. Now let's kill this guy. He's in the way. He did. Major time. If I get a respawn, I just go around the pillar. Just like that. Repeat the process, let him drag in, kill him again, then he can't respawn. Great, now I have no problems. range for this guy, he's going to drag around. And we have some lovely double majors. I guess I can just attack them. Let's drag them both together. And from this point onwards I'm just going to burn rigor because I have loads of prone. Let's drag this guy into the pillar too. Being a bit particular with my pathing so I don't get messed up. And there's a good chance the pillar can fall on that guy for some more damage. It'll help us uh, speed things up a bit. As long as we don't stand there, we're fine. That might just kill it. Sad. Insane. Great. Jad is the same as before. We're going to come and stand one tile away from it on its northwest side, and there's really nothing to this other than burning prayer, so we can use a little bit of uh, of our resources. Dose of Brew, Dose of Restore, Bastion Dose, and I can even put Preserve on with this amount of prayer. So we're entering with like, what, seven, seven Restores. This is a decent amount of flicking, but nothing too crazy. Let's try and get the middle one with a Barrage, and then let's get- oh, I missed entirely, let's try again. Go here. Okay, now I have all of them. I think I did get them, they just splashed. Don't know what I was thinking. So we can pray a little bit of melee like this, and again, only one of the only one of them really gets to us. If more of them get to us, we can run further north. And Tebow, of course, melts jazz, so we shouldn't be here for too long. Great. Keep melee pray. Come to the center of the room. And we come and stand one tile away from its northwest. Repotting liberally at like 60 prayer. Let's use a barrage to get both of those. Let's take a step back here to see if we can save spot. We can. Got good visibility in both jets. No way. Let's get the barrage in them again. More restore.
some nice hits. Very nice hits. I'm gonna Tebow that one. I'm gonna pipe this guy. And then take a step back. And again, these will just fall in line. Running north either gives you one healer or zero healers to deal with. Even for first capes, just run back. Super easy. Great. Rigor on before we start. I would like to pot up, but I am 109 range, which is alright. So we'll have to see how this goes, but I might just use a dose of brew, restore, and then another bastion to get us topped up. One full one for the fight is fine. And uh, Rigor doesn't come off the entire fight. Stand dosing, like whenever you run out, basically, it's like plenty. Let's use a brew. Restore. Bastion. Just to get us really ready. After the attack, move straight forwards, next safe spot. There's the attack, next safe spot. You can get an attack like anywhere around here. And what I'm going to do, keep it simple, is just kill the major. Just immediately on the major. Sometimes you can kill it here, sometimes not. Now let's go on the ranger. But this is just like no flicking. If you see the... You don't really have to flick these guys. We're 115. Now let's blow by spec. And if I have to brew, that's fine too. He's dead. Okay. Couple of doses of brew. But this is really the only place in Zuck where you'd end up using a lot of brew. Is if you tanked lots of sets, but in this gear you can get away with it. And I still have one spec remaining. Flicking is always going to be a better option, but it's not the easiest thing to do. Do I take eight bottoms? No. So we're trying to get it below 600 to pause the set timer. Ebo's doing okay. That should be below. Now let's kill the major. Just completely binned. Yeah, they're not really needed. Hopefully that's dead. Good. Back on Zuck. More restore. Another dose of stem. Moving my supplies to a place where I can click them a bit easier is really nice as well. Keep my prayer on range for when Chad spawns. That should be Jad. We can reach him with a Tebow from here. So let's do it. Turning our camera, waiting for the attack to come and hit the shield. You can always watch Zuck out the corner of your eye, whatever you fancy. Gonna wait until we get to a middle safe spot to go for healers. Now we can go for it. Don't want to rush getting gears. He doesn't start with range, but the range hit is silent. Whereas the mage hit, you can hear it coming from a long way away. You can hear the mage hit, right? If he attacks with range, it's not as obvious. See? You have to watch it. So the default is like, if you want to play safe, have range up. Okay, now we're on to healers. Brew. 115 ideally. Bastion. Got four doses. At this point you might have one or two, that's fine. You want to save one for after healers and right before healers. HP is 240 to look for. If I can proc it here, that's great. I have to hit really big though. I do. Let's get Blowpipe out. It's 247, so let's wait. Don't want to proc it now. I want to wait until we're on the edge. Another dose of stem. I still have one remaining. Gonna have infinite stem. And we're not going to use Redemption, none of that shit. Wait for it to touch the corner. Go for a hit. Maybe step in one. Try again. I do. Blowpipe on. Don't run too far, and now we're staying with the shield. Tag in all these guys, and then back on the ones. Attack, right-click, move. Attack, right-click, move. 
Come into the corner. Duck out of it. Don't go too fast on this healer. You can get dragged and dead. Good spec. Next healer. Spec again. Really nice specs. Right click him just to make sure he dies. Same for this guy. Moving with the shield. And now we just use the safe spots. Following the shield permanently. Brewing to full. Rebastion. Not greeting hits. Staying with the shield. Going straight to safe spot. Last dose of stem should be fine. And on this HP, you probably won't get another set. Voila, the t -Bow Cape. Super simple, very nice Zuck. And that's, what, 75 minutes, so... It's not going to be that fast, but it should be a pretty decent guideline. <laughs> right, the question is whether I do a 65 today. I'm like 50-50 on it, because that was a pretty fast run anyway. Um, I'd probably be happy to just upload those two for today. I kind of want to just do some speedies, if anything. So I'll see if I can uh, get a quick task, but 